I've been upgraded. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh boy. Few unique developments in the world of the Achilles space, bruh. Bella, what are you doing? Get up here. Featuring Bella and the Kobe jersey. We'll talk about that later. It's weeks two and three, okay? Today ends week three post-op. So I'll bunch weeks two and three into... Why are you always licking my water bottle? I'll bunch weeks two and three into the same video because they're pretty much the same weeks with... There's big improvements from week one, but between weeks two and three, there's not like huge improvements, but improvements are improvements. So let's get into it. Week two started off with me getting my cast removed. I'll put some of that footage on here if Bella would stop jumping on and off the couch. I'll put some footage of my cast getting removed. They use like a saw type thing, but it's not really like a, a rotary saw. It just vibrates back and forth. They like jab it into the cast a few times. They use a, like a rib spreader type thing to open it up and pop it off. So from there, um, I had to lay face down on the, like the, uh, what's it called? Examination table, bed, whatever. And that's when they pulled my stitches out. Now there's no, there's not really anything I can do to describe how it feels to get the stitches taken out because it, it just depends on your pain tolerance. It's not very painful if I'm being completely honest, but it, it uh, it's very uncomfortable. I'll preface it by saying this, you know, those itches you can't reach, like when the middle of your hand, like your palm itches. Really Bella? <laughs> You know when your palm itches and it's like deep under the skin you try to itch it but you can't itch it that feeling of that itch is exactly how it feels to have those stitches come out now i had um the open surgery right where they cut about this much of a gap it's about like a three inch and they suture the top suture the bottom bring them together and then you're stuck in an equinus position um in the cast which is like this your foot's almost pointed completely because it brings those two tendon ends together to heal before you start stretching it out july 8th monday july 8th i got the cast put on and they also checked the stitches and they kept the medical tape over it to protect it i had to be in the the cast for at least 10 days at least okay my appointment was originally going to be on like the 18th i'm like dude i'm not waiting that long they fit me in on the 16th i got the cast removed on the 16th so cast comes off stitches come out it feels like something's crawling on your skin i had the open um surgery which is a three inch gash like i said um so i just had one long stitch going through the whole thing pretty simple he just pulled it took about 30 seconds wasn't super comfortable but it wasn't painful it's was very uncomfortable uh then he put the tape back on and i was able to go about my business uh with the boot on i was i've been upgraded hey, hey. i've been upgraded to the boot okay but i had two wedges in there and the wedges kind of keep you back in that pointed position while in the boot that way you are um, keeping those tendon ends together and it'll slowly stretch over time so i had two wedges so my instructions were so this right here is the wedges that were inside the boot immediately after I took the cast off. So these progressively change the angle of my foot. So having the two wedges gives it that angle so the tendon is closer together um, to be able to uh, let the tendon heal together faster. Okay, you're going to do two wedges for a week. Okay, a week just passed this past Tuesday, about four days ago. It's, it's July 26th, by the way. So July 23rd was a week. I took one of the wedges out. So my foot is more close to 90 degrees. It's probably like 10 degrees off from 90 degrees. Um, right now I have the last wedge in and that comes out this upcoming Tuesday, which is July 30th. And then last week I took this bottom one off. Get that out of here. So my foot was a little bit flatter in the boot. The same day I have my post-operation appointment with my orthopedic surgeon and that's when he's going to tell me um, to go to 90 degrees full 90 or neutral position in the boot and then from there from there we figure out what else uh, obviously the at home exercises are what i'm going to go immediately to and then i'll go into physical therapy in like uh, i want to say like a month or so because uh, he wants to see if i can put weight on and all that um, so before i can like just a preface you're not going to be able to drive until you're able to put weight on the foot without the boot when you're in shoes when you're able to walk without the boot or any of the crutches that's when you're able to drive for so for me that'll probably be end of august just because he wants to keep it protected and things like that huge improvements though the scar is going away the scabs are coming off that's one right aesthetically my foot i can lay on my bed like on my stomach and look back at the angles of my feet so normally they're, they're supposed to be angled like this kind of a little bit, like your foot's still supposed to have some angle to it because your, t your Achilles tendon is taut, right? It's, it's tight. When I tore it, my foot was like hanging down too much, right? Too much range of motion. Now they're like even. So now it's even when I, I lay down. There's no strength in it really. I'm still walking, I, I can walk, but I'm either doing the broke leg shuffle, right? I'll show you an example. 
um, or I'm using the crutches and the crutches kind of help take a little bit of the body weight off and they help with your balance because you're, you know, it, you haven't stretched out that foot in a while. So it's, it's going to be weak, but huge improvements. I'm able to put weight down on both feet and able to kind of pseudo walk a little bit. Another improvement, I'm down to the one wedge as we just talked about. So I'm closer to that 90 degree angle. Recovery is going very well. I'm on an early weight bearing path, especially since I'm young and an athlete, he wants me to get back and recover because really your Achilles, of course, like every everything else bro what the heck bro <laughs> this fool done stole my hospital socks and she uses them as a ball that's crazy those hospital socks are comfortable uh th it's the small <clears throat> it's the small wins that count so i'm on an early weight bearing path like i just said your achilles tendon obviously heals through the repair through surgery but for it to fully heal and not snap right away again you have to start putting weight on it so it can learn to deal with those forces again and the scar tissue won't um, form around the tendon which will make it stiff which means i should be in shoes pretty soon and then driving again pretty soon won't be back on the court for like four or five months honestly and that's just to like shoot around and do a workout like a a, a light workout i'm talking like elementary school middle school basketball light workout um and then i won't be back on the court fully playing competitive for this is about to be like the time of recording this it's been a month almost post-op so in about eight seven or eight months until i can play like full competitive so y'all will see me at the turn of the year actually and in january i'll be back full force on the court it, it's not really a bummer i took four years off of basketball to play soccer so yeah you know what you're doing bro you know you shouldn't be going under that tripod bro she's a 16 year old dog but apparently that's like 96 or 97 in small dog years so she's like a she thinks she owned the place bro you ain't paying no rent in this house so that's the details on the progress so far just in case that matches where you are right now i know a lot of people who tear their achilles are like in their 30s or 40s i'm 20 well dang bro i'm 26 now dang uh, uh. Estoy viejito. So why I have the Kobe jersey on? First of all, got this brand new shout out Depop, bro. This is a brand new Kobe jersey. Never worn. Still had the tags on it. Kobe's really the only athlete who's really the only athlete who has torn his Achilles the same kind of manner that I have with the same situation. A sprained ankle that never healed properly and then the Achilles taking the force. So when you go to make a movement, his was trying to uh, make a move on the court. Mine was walking off the court because I'm old uh, and it snaps. Now, I will say this and it really is a case to case basis it really doesn't hurt to tear your achilles for a lot of people it's more of the shock factor of oh what was that it feels like someone like kicked you with all their force in your leg but there's no pain it's just like that bump so it doesn't really hurt it's more of a shock factor of like whoa now for the folks who hurt and i'm sorry for you it's probably because it came off the bone but hopefully and the update that i'll probably have on tuesday is i'll be down to one crutch or no crutches we'll see but the only reason why i have to do like the broke leg shuffle is because there's that wedge in there so you kind of like walking tiptoe one foot and it's weird because you can't it's, it's a weird thing but yeah those are really the updates for weeks two and three i haven't really invested in any like achilles tech because i work like for work i sit down so i'm not really getting up that often i'm not having to walk around a workplace or lift heavy things it's, it's cool right and when i do go to the bathroom like i can <laughs> i work at a hospital i can go into the elevator badge in go through the back door of the elevator to the restrooms that are on the faculty side it's it's <laughs> painless bruh now if you work like a really physical job like delivery or you work standing up it's gonna be a little bit hard for you you should probably invest in a few things like a scooter or like the even up shoe thing but my shoes i mean i'm a grown man dude i'm like six foot tall i'm almost i'm 190 pounds i'm pretty solid most of my shoes i buy always have that platform in them if they're casual shoes they have a platform so my shoes even out pretty much naturally i don't need the even up thing I'm, it, it just works that way but yeah i'm excited to see how this goes uh it's my first time tearing my achilles as most people probably have imagined by now it should be should be fun weeks two and three like i said there's really it's a huge improvement from week one you, you don't have a cast you don't have to worry about like oh i'm sleeping with a cast so my foot's hot you can feel the air like i'll give some some um things i was told about the boot okay with the boot i personally don't have to sleep with the boot what your doctor tells you is up to what your doctor tells you but since i'm on an early weight bearing path I don't have to sleep with the boot. We'll talk about that. I don't have to sleep with the boot. A lot of people have to sleep with the boot because they're gonna knock their foot against something. I'm pretty still and chill when I'm asleep, so I'm not gonna knock it against something. My wife is not a kicker. She doesn't kick in her sleep, so I don't have to worry about that, right? But it may be different for different people. I will say this though, once you take your foot out the boot, let it breathe for a while. And it's not because the smell, it is because like 
your foot still needs oxygen your skin needs oxygen you don't want to get like sores or anything from it being inside the boot for too long um, if you need to you can order more sleeves for the inside of your boot i personally have the air cast I'll, I'll show you in a minute how advanced these things have gotten over time but like i have a, a whole dial on here that switches the side of the boot and then you can pump it up with the air like rebox pumps bro whatever they were i think it was rebox and yeah that's how that works uh, let the air out every so often so you can like get a breather and your foot isn't like so confined uh, put weight on it when you can stand up when you can if your doctor has directed you to i'm not your doctor don't say oh chris said he can do it i'm not your doctor bro and i'm not you bro don't put that on me bro but i digress it's, it's been a, an eventful two three weeks uh, no more pain medications. I'm not really ever in pain except for if I like stand for too long doing the dishes or something I have to sit down and be humble and reasonable with myself that I obviously won't be able to stand for that long For a little bit. So I have to remember like, okay, take breaks This is this is the time where I'm learning to take breaks from stuff instead of trying to push through pain on everything Now you may be given the option to take pain medications and that's mostly because everyone has different pain tolerances So you will get sore from time to time because you haven't used that foot in about two weeks right some of y'all have been in the cast for about 14 days it's a long time you distracted me now i forgot what i was gonna say don't try to do any exercises unless your doctor tells you to literally don't do it so for this video and the next video and possibly the next one so weeks four and five depending on what the developments are between those two weeks four may be by itself five may be by itself or they may be together you probably did the same thing i did when it came to tearing your achilles which was watch a bunch of videos on like oh i tore my achilles should i get surgery should i not get surgery i got the surgery what's the recovery time all those questions you want answered i did the same thing bro and now i'm kind of just letting it rock the only which it's not really a fear of mine because i'm i've been following the product protocols but the thing that was scaring me the most is like what if it heals long which it's it hasn't because i've been following the protocols i've done everything my doctor told me to do i haven't tried to walk on it without the boot if i don't have the boot on i either hop or i'll crawl around so there's no chance of me falling only thing is like i have worn my crutches down to nubs bruh the bottom where they're supposed to be that little uh pad little rubber pad gone bruh is gone that's really all i gotta say bruh make sure you wash your cut after like long days obviously i, I was cleared to sh oh that's another thing i keep forgetting bruh another update i was cleared to shower like a normal person granted i have to sit on the edge of the tub which is like you know I, I don't know it's it's not the same but i'm able to like shower like a normal person i can wash my leg i can't soak it in water yet so i can't get in the pool bubble bath with my glass of wine and dark chocolate i can't i can't do that i wouldn't do it anyway because i'm not a wine drinker to be able to like wash the leg after being in that cast for 10 days oh mercy mercy me it is a great feeling and put lotion on it too because that once that scar starts to stretch once you're like in the the boot and it starts to stretch it's very uncomfortable it doesn't hurt it's like stings a little bit but it's not painful painful and yeah just make sure you keep up with the boot if you are told to sleep with the boot i was not it's an option if you are make sure you wipe and clean up your boot before you go to bed so you're not getting like dust of life and outside and dirt and nastiness and all whatever nastiness is on the floor out there in your house and in your bed that, that's really the only advice i got for you but it's gonna be interesting make sure to stay tuned to the series journey to the drop off uh episode one dropped today july 26 at about 2 p.m central standard time and it's just the intro interview of like what the series is about and things like that these achilles videos will be in a road to recovery type of series specifically for the achilles and there will be random points in journey to the drop off that talk about the injury like moments that are comprised of like physical therapy and the exercises and just talking through it like a video diary for the achilles just in that um series alone but when it comes to the road to recovery stuff they'll they'll be kind of like a week by week thing because it's minimal editing like comment subscribe all that good stuff this has been chris can hoop on his achilles recovery journey road to recovery and i mean shout out everyone else whose videos i've watched there's one like i am alexa or something like that and then there's i forgot his name he wears glasses i'll put him up on the screen but watching those videos have been really informative on what to do and what not to do to make your achilles heal long sorry bro i just had to throw you out there um but yeah like comment subscribe all that good if you're looking for basketball equipment or basketball apparel and fashion i am partnered with in the lab tv go check them out use my code chris can hoop for five dollars off your order there's actually a sale going on for this silent ball right now 3.0 it's been revamped it works outdoors it's more uh durable for outdoors now and it works inside go ahead and cop one 
they work really well i have version 2.0 it's going to be great for like me keeping my handles up and everything until i'm able to actually like get on the court and practice again but that's it like i'm subscribe all that good stuff wish you well on your journey bro use code chris can hoop at in the lab.tv to get five dollars off your order this is part of the tmc collection run tmc part of the old school warriors uh mitch richmond chris mullen and tim hardaway they have their own collection with dev in the lab got the signatures at the bottom in the lab in the bars and on the back we've got the caricatures of the players make sure to get you some before they sell out again use code chris can who for five dollars off your order and also follow the link to go buy these in the description like and subscribe all the good stuff 